Big Trouble with Simple Machines by Nathan Shriver. We need to go faster. It's working. Look at that thing coming out of the ground. It's like a ramp, but curvy. That's what a screw is, Carlos. It's an inclined plane that rotates. Those mechs are following us up. Just keep sprinting. I got a surprise when we reach the top. Get lubricated. More viscosity oil, super slippery lubricant. Awesome, Eureka. That'll slow him down, but only for so long. First things first, let's cover our tracks. Let's set up a barrier for when the mechs come back. This metal sheet will stop them. We'll need to secure it. Will it be heavy enough if we pile a bunch of junk on top? Don't underestimate those mechs, Carlos. They're pretty strong. What about this old FA-74 mech? It still has its power source. We can use that to power up the cat. Does it have any screws? Yeah, big ones. Those screws will hold down the sheet. Find something to turn them. Aha, two bars. We'll use them as class one levers. We'll put a rotational force or torque to the screw. A screw translates torque into vertical force. The screw rises and comes out of the robot. Takes a long time. These screws have a low pitch or a short distance between the threads. Close threads means there's an especially long inclined plane wrapped around those screws. A long distance means we can use less force to accomplish a lot of work. But the work we put into turning the screw is the same amount of work the robots must do to push the screw up and out. Since it's a much shorter distance, they'll need a lot more force. Hopefully, more force than they're capable of. Ten minutes later. Because they don't have <laughs> qualifications! Get it? Get my joke? Fermi! I'm starving! We have to eat! Hang in there. This Nova battery has to be big or Shogun wouldn't be hiding it. Why do you call her that? Shogun? Isn't she your mom? Must be nice to have a mom. You can have her. I'm a constant disappointment. Everything I've achieved, it's never enough. Oh, boo-hoo. You can do whatever you want. We have to do whatever Science Ninjas tells us. But May, don't you want to be a Science Ninja? Of course! Science serves humanity! So science experiments, like us, serve humans like Shogun or her family. We're just like these simple machines. Tools for someone else's work. Someone who made us blow our curfew hours ago. And who gets punished for that? Not Shogun's daughter. Do you remember when we were cadets? You always complained. The rules, the drills, and I hated it too. That's why I got out as fast as I could. Now you're mad because you're not getting back soon enough? You should be thanking me for getting you out of there. I don't think you two are that different. Forces have put pressure on both of you over a length of time. A great distance, if you will. They've really done some work on you. You need to be each other's simple machines. Then you'll push back with more force than you could on your own. But the only way to maximize the friendship advantage is if you both push over a long distance together. Pretty corny, Carlos. That's me, Mr. Cornball. I dug out that mech's power source. Let's hook it up to the cat, find out where the Nova battery is, and figure out how to get out of here. Now we're talking. Let's clean up Kitty Corner. This place looks like something the cat dragged in. 